Hi, this is Champlet 2 on the PlayStation Network. This is one of a series of videos on my channel to provide tips and tricks for stealing the cars in the import-export business in GTA Online. When you go to the computer in your executive office and click on Vehicle Cargo and request a vehicle from SecuroServe, you'll be required to complete different tasks to retrieve the car. There are specific videos on my channel for each of these retrieval tasks. When you exit your office, your assistant will call you with details. Okay, get the car and bring it to the warehouse. And remember, you're going to get a body shop bill for any damage. Sometimes your assistant will give you a vague message like that, and it doesn't tell you anything about what to expect when you get to the car. After you've done these for a little while, you'll start to notice a little repetition. So take a minute and look at the map, and it might give you a clue about what to expect when you get there. There are a couple of possibilities. The car might be unguarded and you can just take it with no resistance at all. I like to call that a freebie. There may be a bomb in the car that will detonate if you drop below a certain speed. The owners and some other nasty folks may be there with the car and you'll have to take them out to get it. Or the car may have been stolen and some guy took it for a joyride and he's got cops chasing him and that'll become your problem to deal with. As you get close to the car, approach with caution. Look around to see if anyone's guarding the car or there are police nearby. If no one's around, that means one of two things. It's either a freebie or there's a bomb in the car. Before you get in it, take a minute to look at the map and plan your exit strategy just in case there is a bomb in it. Here you can see I run up to the gate to make sure it opens when I approach it so I don't damage the car when I'm driving out. And now I'm taking a look at the map to find the straightest route out to get towards my warehouse so that I can get up to speed and the bomb won't explode. Yep, there's a bomb in it. So you have about 20 seconds to get out to a major road where you can get up to speed, which is 56 miles an hour, but basically it'll keep beeping until you get to the right speed. So see, I'm almost out of time here, and it's going to start beeping faster, but I made it. Now see, there I dropped below the speed, and it's warning me to get my speed up. You don't have to go full speed. You just have to keep it from being below the minimum speed for too long. Because if you wait too long, it'll detonate. So obviously I'm not doing a very good job of choosing a good route here. Because what you're looking for is the least amount of turns possible. So you can get a good straight stretch and maintain your speed. But you do have some time when you make a turn to recover. And with about a minute left on the time to disarm, which is a total of about two minutes, uh, you'll get a message from your assistant telling you you're almost there. There she is. So just try to maintain your speed, take as few turns as possible, try not to run into anything because that will really slow you down. Head in the general vicinity of your warehouse, although you can't pull it in until the bomb is disarmed. There are other options as well. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Uh, besides driving it in when you find a bomb, 
As I mentioned earlier, there is a lot of repetition, so you might start to recognize some of them where um, it'll probably have a bomb. And in that case, you could pick it up with a cargo bob if you're fortunate enough to own one. And I'll show you that in just a moment. So, now she's telling me the bomb has been disabled and all I have to do is bring the car into the warehouse. Those beeps you just heard are very important. At least they were cool enough to not let other players see your car while you were driving and dealing with that bomb. You don't become visible to all the other players until after the bomb is disabled. So at least that's pretty cool. Next I'll show you how you can pick it up with a cargo bob and avoid the bomb altogether. Okay, get the car and bring it to the warehouse. And remember, you're gonna get a body shop bill for any damage. This is one of those cases where I looked at the map and I recognized from the location that very often when I find a car there, it's either going to have people guarding it that I'm going to have to shoot, or there won't be anybody there guarding it, but it will have a bomb in it. This one's in a very tricky location. It's on the very curvy roads there in the Rockford Hills, and it's really difficult to get it up to speed in the amount of time that you have, and the bomb will go off. So I chose to go back in my office and exit my office in my uh, Jetsum Cargo Bob. So once you start to recognize the cases where you may find a, a car with a bomb in it, you could use the Cargo Bob for all of them. Just go pick it up, take it to your warehouse, no damage at all, provided the cargo bob doesn't drop it. Now that does happen more frequently than I care to admit, but don't know why it does. You can hook it very well and it'll still just drop it. It's really frustrating. So that's why I don't choose to use it very often. I did it in this case because the roads are so windy that there's a really good chance you won't get it up to speed and the bomb will go off. But this one is especially tricky. The car is parked right up next to the garage door and it's really hard to reach in the cargo bot. So I'm gonna show you how I do it in case you decide you wanna try to do this. Took me a long time to figure out how to get it. So there's the Z-Type in the corner. It's the one closest to the garage door and nobody's here guarding it. It could be a freebie, but chances are it's got a bomb in it and I'd rather not find out on these windy roads. So the only way you can get this one in the cargo bob is you kind of have to put the nose up on the garage and tilt the back down and the hook will grab it. I did get a little damage because it hit the car behind it. If I'd been really smart, I would have parked the cargo bob and moved that car to improve my odds of not damaging it. But just put the nose right up on the garage and tilt the back down and the hook, the hook will grab the car. So you just fly it back. There's no resistance on a bomb. There's no enemies. There's no police. Because they're expecting you to have enough to deal with just trying to keep the car up to speed. It's really cool when you deliver a car to your warehouse with the cargo bob. All you have to do is get close to the little yellow dot at the garage entrance and it'll start a cutscene and just pull the car right in and it'll leave you just hovering there over your warehouse in your cargo bob when you're done. Sometimes it even shows this little guy coming out and driving your car into the garage. <laughs> 
Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out the other tips and tricks videos for imports and exports on my channel. A like for the video and a subscription to my channel are greatly appreciated. All right, we are good on that one. If you want to source another vehicle, come by the office. Have fun and make money.